Ew. Layer two. That's to heat up the mug so the mug isn't cold, so it doesn't cool down the coffee, because I like my coffee as hot as it can be. Do that, do it. ride in the morning. I feel like a spoiled rich kid who stayed home from school. Those are the goals. Those are the goals. <laughs> but you gotta focus. What's up guys? So I'm gonna make this video vlog style because a lot of you guys have been requesting that I make another vlog. I'm super glad you enjoyed that and I want to thank you so much for watching. However, if you're here for the title of this video, I'm going to share that advice with you right now and then throughout the rest of the video, maybe I'll throw in some, some sprinkles. Oh, geez. So I've been experimenting with intermittent fasting since 2013. That's when I started. I didn't start off like, you know, knowing much about it. I just was doing it so to keep my body weight light because I was doing a lot of breaking or break dancing, so power moves, you know, air flares, flares, flips, all that type of stuff. And like, you know, to have a bunch of food in your stomach when you were going to train, uh, sucked you know what I mean so I kind of started out just like messing around with intermittent fasting and it works really well for me now since then I noticed a ton of different benefits about intermittent fasting when it comes to energy levels weight loss just other things as well however the big secret that I have learned from my experience that I want to share with everyone out there right now is if you are using intermittent fasting for just weight loss if that's your main goal then you can cheat a little bit. So if you're just really using intermittent fasting for weight loss and maybe for having a body that isn't like filled up with a ton of food um, when you go into your training session or workout, but you still wanna have the best energy possible, then a little hack that I came across that I realized is having a small meal under 500 calories before your training session makes me have way more energy than having a huge breakfast and also more energy than just intermittent fasting. So I get the maximum amount of energy having a small meal under 500 calories before a big training session. That way I can expel more energy in my training session throughout the rest of the day before I have my big meal later on. Now, very important, I don't do this every day. For example, yesterday I just did a 20 hour fast from nine at night on Sunday, maybe a little bit before that, to five on Monday. I didn't eat anything, only water and a little bit of coffee. No keto coffee, none of that bulletproof coffee, just pure black coffee. That's the way we do things around here. Drip, <laughs> drip coffee. So yesterday I did a full 20 hour fast. My energy was fine. I felt good, I felt clear. However, today I'm planning to do an intense workout in a few hours, probably in about four hours. I got some work to do, uh, probably like six hours actually. Now I'm gonna share with you the small meal I'm going to eat. Man, I know it already. You guys are gonna make fun of me for what I'm eating. Okay, so here's the meal. It's a little weenie meal, but let me tell you, it's, it's just what's gonna work the best for me. One banana, probably not even one serving of this coconut yogurt, and then only one scoop of this protein powder. This is Garden of Life Sport um, plant-based protein powder. And it makes this like chocolate yogurt pudding tasting thing. All of this, it's under 500 calories. Now, if I'm feeling like, ooh, maybe I need a little more because I felt like I was kind of in a deficit yesterday, which I, I kind of want to be. I'm trying to lean out right now. I might add another banana, but I'm, I'm, I'm thinking I'm gonna be all right. All right, so this yogurt right here, some of you guys, if you've watched my uh, previous vlog, you might be thinking, dude, where's your coconut walnut yogurt? It was like a homemade yogurt that I made. Uh, I ate it all, all right, I ate it all. I actually made it another batch since then, and I ate all that too, so I'm completely out of that. And then I saw this at the store, and I'm like, whoa, it's basically like just raw coconut yogurt. I wanna give it a try, so <laughs> let's see how it is. One serving is only 100 calories, six grams of fat, eight grams of carbs, one gram of protein, mostly fat, so honestly, I feel eating the meal balanced is totally fine as long as it's the raw plants. That's what I found works the best for me. So literally just eating something like protein and fat, trying to stay keto or just eating carbs, trying to stay like high carb. 
don't work as good as eating just a full balanced meal, I noticed for that prolonged energy when it comes to the workout. Just don't overdo it, that's the only key, is just don't overdo those 500 calories, keep it under 500. Um, one scoop of this, which is only, only, one scoop's only 90 calories, so, so far we're at 190 calories with a serving of this, one scoop of that protein, add a little bit of water. All right, that's the consistency you want right there, like a pudding, let's give it a little taste. Doesn't taste that good, but honestly, it kind of does the trick. <laughs> I'm just being real. Now I'm gonna take this meal, I've got some work to do. I'm gonna eat it in front of the computer. Probably not the best way to eat a meal, but guys, you know, it's the 21st century, 2021. Got a lot of work to do, I wanna maximize my time. So yes, I'm gonna eat this in front of the computer, but I'm gonna eat it slowly. So let's go do some work and then we're gonna do a workout. And I got some more things I wanna share with you about fasting and how I like to set my week up and how you don't have to be too serious all the time to still get the benefits of the weight loss, the fat loss, and then I'll talk about some other things too you might wanna hear about. Hopefully it's gonna be a fun day. Let's go. Yeah, we got a pink salt lamp. <laughs> I'm a hippie, I know, shut up. All right, it's been about two hours. Done, little pro tip, put some water in this right away because that'll stick to the bowl. It's hard to clean. Gonna finish up some work and then we're gonna go train in about maybe two hours. That mobility. It's getting warm out. It was literally in the 30s most of yesterday. Today it's supposed to be 80, 80 degrees, what? Real quick before we take off, real quick. Let's see where we're at. I never got this before, never got this. Captains of Crush, this is a two, so that's approximately 200 pounds, actually 195 pounds of squeeze force. You saw me in the last vlog, let's see if we're improving, okay? I feel like that was an improvement. I'll have to watch that back, but I think I got like this much closer. All right, let's go, baby. Yo, when you're headed to the park, never forget to pack. Bunny Way Beast 2.0. Oh, look at this fresh grass. <laughs> Time to take the clothes off. You know what I mean.
So, just got done with the training session, tricking and the Bodyweight Beast 2.0. And now what we're doing is I'm basically just sitting here, getting a little bit of sunshine. I don't feel hungry at all. I still feel like I have a lot of energy. I'm just still a little sore in the legs from not yesterday, but the day before. But yeah, other than that, there's kind of a lot of traffic noise. So I don't know how that's affecting this. So I'm actually gonna go to another park. And there, I think I'm going to film a one minute tutorial video for you guys. And maybe also talk a little bit more about intermittent fasting since that's what the title of this video video is and for those of you sticking around I hope you're enjoying the vlog thank you all so much for watching you know while you're at it subscribe hit that bell button turn those notifications on give this video a like other than that let's go to the other park yeah Five weeks. Oh, there we go. Crampy, but yeah. All right. Whoa. Oh, you okay? All right. So just got done filming another one-minute tutorial because you guys, as well as the internet, are loving are loving those. One huge thing I really like about intermittent fasting, which I still do some days of the week, and then this hack fasting, which I just did today for the workout, is either eating that small meal under 500 calories or no meals at all before you have that window of eating it leaves you with so many more calories you can eat during that window which makes you so much more satisfied if you split your meals up six meals a day even though i am still eating 3,000 calories that's only 500 calories each meal it's like and then it's like mm, okay i'm done when's the next meal coming <laughs> you know what i mean i guess you could split it up four meals or even three meals and have a thousand calories each meal but dang it i tell you it is so hard to overeat when your stomach is basically kind of shrunken down from not eating all day and then having your window of eating if you do the fasting right and don't eat to where you feel like you're going to explode you can get in like 2,000 calories feel super satisfied still feel good, feel clear, and still digest well if you go into it eating nice and slow, if you don't just stuff your face. There's a way to eat your first meal if you haven't eaten in 20 hours and not like hurt your stomach. It's go into it slow, chew your, chew your meal, let your saliva go with it. But it is just so much more satisfying than six meals, definitely, than four meals, than three meals. Now with that being said, I do have days where I do eat three, four meals a day because I don't fast every day because, man, I'm going in circles here because I actually found that intermittent fasting works the best if, for me at least, I treat it like intense exercise. Now, it really isn't like intense exercise. I'm not like, oh my gosh, I'm fasting, oh, oh. You know, it's only like a 16 to 20 hour window on most days that I do this. If I treat it like intense exercise in the point where I don't do it every day, I have two days off a week where I eat normally, maybe three or four meals, it's like I can sustain it longer and I never, feel sick and tired of fasting in fact i look forward to jumping back into intermittent fasting again and it always feels good when i do it i have had times where i have purely intermittent fasted for weeks months on end 16 to 20 hours every single day it was working good but i kind of hit this like this just like chilled out flow state where i never had the best energy and i always kind of felt like as if I was running, it just felt like I wasn't fully almost like recovering. You know what I mean? Not, not because I probably wasn't getting nutrients, just because it, I don't know, just that's how I felt. But then when I started giving myself a break, eating whenever I want for two days out of the week, which were Saturday and Sunday, I noticed it just, it rejuvenated me for Monday through Friday and it just, it seemed to work better. The fasting seemed to work better. Similar to how I mentioned the mistake I made with cold showers where I would just continually do them going longer and longer and longer and longer until it just became overwhelming. You know what I'm saying? It's the same for intermittent fasting. It's like I do it five days out of the week, maybe two days I do this hack fasting, the other three I do a full fast, maybe a 20 hour fast. But then on Saturday and Sunday, I eat whenever I want. I hope all of that is making sense so far. Sorry, this was a huge talking portion, but I feel like I had a lot of important information from my experience. This is not study-based. This is just my experience, okay? I hope you guys enjoyed that. All right, going home, and I'm gonna take a shower because I'm dirty, like dirty. Just got my lounge clothes on. <laughs> just chilling in Russell's house. If you know, you know. Yeah, I don't really separate my clothes. It's probably why they're always not looking right. 
You gotta separate the whites. That's why the whites are starting to look red. <laughs> All right, so I'm in the process of cooking right now. It's actually ooh, 6.30, so a little bit longer than I expected, but that's okay. I still feel good. I'm actually starting to get kind of hungry right now, which is perfect because we're eating, so. So a lot of people have said in the past, like intermittent fasting, um, you know, it's like, yeah, I wish I could do that, but I'd have no energy at work. The thing is, is like, if you do get used to fasting, intermittent fasting, and you know, if you do use this hack fast, which makes it so much easier, and honestly, I feel like makes no difference for fat loss or weight loss. Once you do get used to it, it's like you have, feel like you have better energy, first of all. Second of all, you don't have to take breaks in the day to eat food, which you can basically save yourself a ton of time and you can work longer. For example, yesterday when I did a full 20 hour fast, I basically woke up six o'clock, was working by 6.30, worked all the way to 4.30. The only thing only thing I took a break for was pee breaks. Just being real with you guys, honestly. But like, I didn't have to go like prepare a meal or go out to lunch or do this or that, BS waste time. I was able to just focus and work through the whole entire day. I got so much done. Now, I guess a lot of, in like a lot of office positions, there's like that whole like lunch thing, you know, everyone's going out to lunch, so it's like a social thing. If you can get around that, you know, I don't know, I haven't really worked in the office in a long time. All I'm trying to say though, keeping on topic with intermittent fasting, all I'm trying to say is like, once you get used to it, in my opinion, it makes the work day just even more productive. Okay. So this is what we're eating here. This is actually my wife's. She's actually making a vindaloo curry chicken. It's probably gonna taste better than mine, honestly. She always makes good stuff. Yeah, look at how nasty mine looks. But I swear, guys, it's gonna taste good. Um, I got two pieces of salmon on there, two six ounce pieces on an onion, and then it's got a little bit of olive oil just lightly cooking in there, kind of slow cooking, slow, about like 20 to 30 minutes. Got some white rice in the back. I'm sharing that with my wife. Um, I also have potatoes that I put in the oven, and then what I'm going to do right here is this crazy hack. I actually learned this from my mom. Honestly, it tastes great. It has a lot of volume. Anything with volume can help you diet. Volume, I mean like fiber, high volume. Preferably vegetables, fresh vegetables. So cabbage, just take cabbage, chop it up, put it in the oven, and actually bake the cabbage. You know, put a little seasoning on it, and if you want to be naughty like me, put a little oil on it. <laughs> you know, because like I can afford some calories. I got like 3,000 calories in the day, so... I only ate like probably like 400 so far, maybe even less. So I got plenty left. But the volume from the cabbage is satisfying and when it goes in the oven, it just like, it just tastes super good. And then the bok choy and the broccoli, I'm gonna throw into my salmon, like just into it and all in there. You know, it saves the pots and stuff when you cook it all into one. Um, probably when I'm about three minutes out from being ready, yes. That's what I'm doing. Maybe I'll show overlays of pictures of what I get on this. My first round, I'm probably just gonna do rice and salmon. And then ideally, I would wanna wait like, you know, an hour for that to start digesting before I would jump into my next um, portion. But honestly, guys, I'm just being real. I'm probably gonna go back to back, you know, just hopefully get in about 3,000 calories total for the day. If I still have some left over, I'm gonna have fruit for dessert. So like maybe strawberries. I wanna keep it to berries or something like that. Low sugar. Same rules really apply when you're intermittent fasting is you know, you wanna stick to your calories. The thing is, it's just easier to do that because you get satisfied on such a large volume meal. You also get the other benefits of fasting that I've been talking about this whole video. Sorry if that video was kind of like here, there, and all over the place, gray area here, you know what I mean? I hope I did a good job explaining to you guys what I was trying to get across, the point. What it is, is like you can really customize things so that they work for you and you can customize intermittent fasting so it works well for you. This is how I do it. This is how I've been doing it for a while now. Here and there, it's not always rigid 100%. If you guys want me to make more content, fitness, nutrition, fasting related, anything like that, let me know. I have a fitness channel right now. It's Only Kinds Fitness. If you're interested in checking that out, I'll leave a link in the description. Usually there I post like follow along workouts, short nutrition tips, etc. If you guys are interested in Bodyweight Beast 2.0, check out OnlyKindsFitness.com. There I have hard copies and digital downloads available, so check those out. If you want the hard copy like I just, I've been using like outside and stuff, I have those in stock. We're shipping those out. Thank you all so much for your support, positive feedback. Don't forget to subscribe, turn those notifications on. I hope you all have a great day. Peace, I will see you all in the next video.